chugging on a little chaga. I got some new uh, elixirs from Four Sigmatics. I restocked, I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, really quickly, today um, is the last day, I think it's the last day of my Instagram giveaway, the um, color science giveaway. So for those of you who are into, into Instagram, make sure you go over to my Instagram account and check it out. Uh, you can win all of my favorite color science color science dailies that I wear all the time, my mineral shield, the body shield, which I'm currently rocking, the mineral face shield I have on, and then the three-in-one eye, or the touch-up stick as I like to call it, as well as um, the brush on shield. The brush on shield has been super handy here in Houston the, this past summer. It's the mineral powder sunscreen. That the, the way I use it and the way that it works is not as a sunscreen as a way to, when you apply sunscreen and you've got a lot of shiny greasiness, it's a great way to kind of mat it down. But as I said in all my videos, the powder is not a sunscreen alone. Like you can't just powder your face and, and expect an even application of SPF. You have to have a good base layer. But the base layer thing, a lot of people are like, I always look like a greasy, shiny mess. So the mineral powder on top of it is really wonderful. You get a little added extra extra SPF where you're sprinkling it on. It, it camouflages that and it looks nice. So you those you can win all of that stuff. It's 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 quite a bit. So go over there, check it out, follow the details of the giveaway. I'm really grateful to Color Science for for helping me put this together. So check her out. I think it's the last day. Bye. One thing I wanted to show you, you'll recall last Saturday, my mom and I went to Walmart and I had this thing, I, it, it must be from childhood, I do not like putting holes in the wall, I, I don't know, I just don't like putting holes in the wall. Because once you move things around or rearrange the furniture and then you want to move something that you've hung up, it's just unsightly. So I really am, am very, very <clears throat> about putting holes in the wall. So, huh, I've seen these on Amazon. They're the command hook shelves. And I got one at Walmart to test out. Um, and it does, it does hold Totoro just fine. So I got one just to try it out and I really like it. Oh, it's a focus, it's trying to focus on my hand there. I really like it. I'm thinking of getting another one to have, to have behind my desk here. So yeah, speaking of desk, let me show you. I ordered these um, pretty stationary cards. You guys know I like to write handwritten notes. Um, sometimes you guys send me pretty cards in, in my P.O. box, and so I like to, to tell you, hey, I got it, thanks, <laughs> and uh, send you a cute little card. So I got these custom A Day with Dr. Dre, that's my channel name, uh, little cards from this shop, which happens to be here in Texas. Modern Pink Paper. They do this all this cute stationery. They have really nice stationery. Um, Modern Pink Paper, they are handmade in Texas. They come really quickly, um, and they're from Katy, Texas. And the owner of the shop, I told her how much I like her stationery, and she shared a coupon code with me. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but if you guys are interested in ordering stationery, um, I'll put it down below for you all. But um, I just really like the stationery, and I think it's really nice. I get, <laughs> I got the kids stationery, so I got the cute little unicorn and the sweet little cat. But they have some more, um, like, uh, sophisticated, like, adulty, and not that these aren't, I think these are sophisticated, but, you know, like, some more um, mature or adult or work-friendly, you know, professional ones like you can get monograms they have wedding invitations really really cute head on over there and check it out if you're at all into stationery and i know many of you are modern pink paper and i love how pretty the little ribbon is this came really quickly you can customize the colors of the of the um you know a day with dr dre i chose this color here and that one there you can customize the color of like the border and you know the little the little um you know icon or whatever as well as the color of the envelopes. So yeah, happy to have those. They're so cute and they have my channel name on them, A Day with Dr. Dre. How cool is that? And I restocked on some mushroom elixirs from Four Sigmatics. This one is my favorite, I think. One of my favorites, the Shaga Mushroom Elixir. It has uh, ulethro extract, field mint, and rose hip. 
and then the shaga. This is so good in my coffee and just black coffee. It really enriches it. It doesn't taste like dirt or like you're eating mushrooms or anything weird. It, it really just thickens up the coffee somehow. I can't explain it. Probably because of the lignans or something. Or not lignans, but probably because of like the glucans or something in the, in the mushroom extract. Uh, but it, it really, it, it gives it almost a taste of, of like a really, a richer coffee, you know, it's, it's kind of, I don't drink alcohol, but I would say it's like the taking, taking a, a, a Corona beer to, fr from Corona beer, which I, which is fine, like a light beer to, to some sort of hearty, uh, microbrew that, 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 that makes your coffee like a microbrew almost. <laughs> Um, and then this one is one of my favorites as well. This is the Mushroom Hot Cacao Mix. It is cacao powder and cinnamon and cardamom and stevia and then it has reishi in it. It does not taste like mushroom at all um, and only has two grams of sugar in one packet. So this is really nice. I like to have these for dessert at nighttime. This doesn't have any caffeine in it so I like to have it at night. Um, doesn't keep me up or anything. And then the Beauty and Shiitake, Beauty with Shiitake and Turmeric Golden Latte Mushroom Mix. This one I tasted last night uh, is, is really good. It has stevia, turmeric, coconut milk powder, shiitake, ginger, tulsi, and black pepper. This is really a vibrant color. It's a lot of fun. I just reconstituted it in, in boiling water and drink it hot, but you could have this cold, um, and so it's it's really fun. It's pretty and uh, very, very tasty. Turmeric, um, particularly with black pepper, is um, laden with antioxidants and curcumins, and this is a fun way to get it in. And I just, the ginger combo, mm, this is great for for the fall season. Then I got a mushroom sampler box. This just kind of has a bunch of different ones in it. And I like, it's got like the lion's mane elixir in it, I think, which is one of my favorites. I kind of like to have this, this uh, grab bag of them. And then I got some instant coffees. I like the, their instant coffee, the mushroom coffee mix with lion's mane and shaga. I also have the, um, the ground coffee of this that I brew in my Bialetti over there <laughs> just as you would espresso it, it comes out pretty good um and so i but i like to have the instant packets they're pretty handy yeah i am totally totally hooked on these these guys <laughs> you guys if you've been watching my channel though for since the beginning you know i've always had a thing for turmeric drinks and mushroom drinks and so i'm really glad that i discovered these because uh, they're, they really do a good job. They really have a good taste. I've had some, some bad mushroom, mushroom drinks and mushroom mixes in the past, but these are really good. Oh God, that is so good. All right, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys this morning, I did a blog Lottie's routine that you guys, I will list it down below. You have to give it a, a whirl. Uh, it is one of the hardest ones on her channel, at least for me. She has many difficult routines. It is the insane abs, butt, and legs routine. That I struggled to make it all the way through, and I'm really proud of myself. I made it all the way through without taking pause today. It is, it's a killer. It is brutal. I don't know how she, how she stays so upbeat. The beginning ab routine is really challenging, I find, uh, because she go, it's not that they, the moves are, are hard them in, in and of themselves, it's the duration of time that she has <laughs> you doing it for her. So her video is really, really good. But I mentioned the other day in, in one of my vlogs that I am always kind of compelled and motivated to get back to my uh, ballet flexibility that I once had many, many moons ago running and running really just conditions your muscles to be very you know in you know kind of straightforward and it kind of goes against some of the flexibility so i've really really been very very diligent the past year and a year and a half about stretching because i got really tight in my hamstrings a while back 
and just lost a lot of flexibility. And I was like, my gosh, I have no flex. I just don't have the same level of flexibility I once did. And it really made me sad. And so I've gotten much, much, much better over the past year and a half. The one uh, thing that I really want back is my grandma mom. Um, I used to, have, um, in ballet, have a, you know, a decent grandma mom, and now it's terrible. So I've been working on that in the gym. I've been doing 10 on each side every day, and my inner thighs are killing me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I won't, won't show you guys. It's quite awful. <laughs> I, I can keep my legs straight, but I'm like, I'm like barely over 90 degrees to the front. <laughs> Oh boy! Hey there! Hey there! So oh, when I see those Totoro socks, I get so excited. Get back in here. <laughs> Come on, Ty. What is this you're doing? It's a, an app, Mom. You can change your hair color, change your eye color. Oh wow! Put on makeup. Or look here. Does that? What's that called? <laughs> you gotta look at it. Oh, that's cute. Um. Let's see. The hair color is a little extreme. What's the app called? Um, Ucam. Ucam? Modicam, Mo I think it was. Modicam? Yeah. Let me go look in the magazine. Ucam. Yeah, it was great. This is fun. All right, let's see what I look like with purple hair. Oh, that's cool. Let me see you. <laughs> there we go. Mom's been having fun with Maudie app, it's called. Let me find it. All right. That's Stay tuned. A, I've got such a bad memory. I just downloaded the app and I can't remember what the name of it was. Bye. I'm just updating my uh, reading list here with all the books that I've, I've been reading. I finished Sharp Objects and... Uh, I really, <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. I know many of you are watching the TV series and my mom and I have just started the TV series so she is out of, she doesn't know the end. I don't want to spoil it for her, but I highly recommend reading the book if you're going to watch the show. I think it uh, makes it much easier to, to get what's going on in the show. This is good. I, I mean, it, it's really good. I, I would... I wouldn't say it's really good, but it is definitely entertaining and page turning. <laughs> Here it is, Maudie Face. Maudie Face. Maudie Face Live. All right, what's Boulevard R? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a free app. Good. Maudie Face. M O D I F A C E. You can face tap your phone's self facing camera to do instant makeovers, offering hundreds of options for blush, mascara, eyeliner, colored contact lenses, lashes, and lipstick. Cool. <laughs> the uh, the one that's really fun is the eyeliner. Yeah. See. Um, makeup, eyeliner. <laughs> There's this one's really extreme. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> you you're uh you're a pound of uh pancake away from uh putting in your application at Sephora. <laughs> do they still call it pancake? Pancake makeup? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I do. Your hair stuck in your glasses. Oh I'm just uh, now I've got uh, blue eyeliner. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, I tell you. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> we can go to uh, Target and get some. <laughs> Updated my reading list all the way through Sharp Objects, and I'm about, I'm, I'm fairly close to finishing Tropic of Cancer. This I have really been enjoying, so I'm hoping to uh, crack through that this, this weekend and early into next week, finish, finish her off and uh, transition to... Uh, the other, oh, what's it called? What's your next reading thing? A Beautiful, A Little Life. Oh, yeah. Hanya Yang, the that guy who, the, author, the, the gal who wrote The People in the Trees, that book that I got from the library. Yeah. I haven't started it yet. Well, you're really zipping a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> you. Tybee. Hey, Tybee.
Hey everybody. new apron. I got this at Ikea. I, oh, I wow. seem to like Ikea aprons for some reason. That's really cute. Does it have yes. a pocket in the front? It's got a small pocket somewhere. Yeah. I know it you has just got it. Somewhere. I think you've got it. And one thing I'm really liking about it is it has a, a hanging loop. Oh. Which is good. That way you don't have to hang it from the strap. Yeah. Ikea is so practical. Yes. You're making lunch? I'm making something. I don't know if you can <laughs> I just made some of that flan mix that I got at Kroger. Yeah, we'll see how it comes out. I made it with stevia packets. You're supposed to make it with sugar, but I don't have any sugar. And uh, it seemed to thicken up and come together with almond milk. The packets themselves are really just thickener. It doesn't even have any flavor or sugar in it as is. It's supposed to be a flan, but I added I added cocoa powder. We'll see if it comes out like chocolate pudding. Oh, I mean, that's good. It may be disgusting. <laughs> it, I'm thinking it might taste like like the almond milk yogurts. You know how they, I, I don't care for those. My mom likes them though. The, what is it, silk? Yeah, I like Make some. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for those, but you like them. So maybe you'll like this, but oh, we'll keep you posted. Lunch time! We're having our epic salads. <laughs> you whipped up uh, something that looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I buy these mushrooms at Costco, mm -hmm. and it's such a large amount. I don't I think I get too carried away. They're good. But I cooked some just you in a st uh, steamy saute mm -hmm. with garlic and onions. No oil? No oil. Then you got avocado, black beans, mm -hmm. brown. and greens on the bottom. Brown rice and steamed broccoli with what flavor, Mrs. Dash? That's the Southwest blend. Southwest blend? Yeah. Spicy. It goes well with avocado. Yeah, it does. I love Mrs. Dash, no salt seasonings. And I'm having basically the same thing. Uh, mixed greens, uh, black beans, steamed carrots, steamed broccoli, steamed mushrooms with, brown, with onions, and a little bit of brown rice. And I put the table blend Mrs. Dash on mine and apple cider vinegar. And we'll of course be Drowning it in nutritional yeast. Yeah, I'll have to put some of that on mine too. Yeah. <laughs> got my water there in Bubba or Babs. That's Babs. And you've got your own Bubba cup. Yeah, this is, what did I say she was Babette? Yeah, Babette. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to tell everybody happy weekend. <laughs> yeah, someone commented that they're crocheting their own classy pal bib. And they were inspired by, by my bib wearing. Stay classy, I always wear an adult bib when eating eating salads, because otherwise it spills all over the place. But one, one viewer said that they um, 
they're trying they're crocheting their own their own classy pack. How clever is that? Yeah. Yeah. I hope they show you a picture when they're done with it. Yeah. Oh okay. You need a classy a pack. Napkin on here. <laughs> Isn't this charming? <laughs> Alright, dessert time. Looks like yeah, they they solidify up really. Yeah, but it sure did. I dripped it obviously into the cup, but oh, it looks looks kind of like fun consistency. It looks like maybe a little sticky. Your face. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> it does have the consistency of flan. It does. But, um, good. It's a little on the bouncy side. How's the taste? Does it taste weird? No, it's good. Does it taste chocolatey? <clears throat> it's not very sweet. Yeah. But that's the way you like it. Here, try it. Uh, I'll try it. It looks, it looks, uh, buoyant. <laughs> it looks like one of those, uh, those squishy things, those stress balls. Like if you if you ate a stress ball, it's a vegan chocolate stress ball. No, uh, like a good chance. It's not a pudding. It's yeah. a flan. It's so. a flan. Yeah. It does look like flan. It does. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not a mousse. It's not a pudding. It's flan. Well, when you take it, you took it out of the cup. It looks really cute. Yeah, it's all about the presentation because this is, makes it more like a mold. Yeah, it, it plopped yeah, right yeah, out. It's really nice. And oh, it's got wow. that nice shine. It's got a sheen. Wow. Yeah. It looks like a ganache. It's pretty. Yeah. All right. And I'm just happy at the way it yeah. turned out. It looks Look like flan. Yeah. Here, hold it. Hold it. It was blurry. Cool. Not Good bad. Job. Come and see that. <laughs> I'll have to give it a try later. How did you come by that? It's over in that international section in Kroger. That international section is it's got everything from That's where we found the bread, right? Yeah, that's where we found the German you no know, preservative bread stuff that you like. And the sauerkraut. Yeah, the sauerkraut is really good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to go to Instagram if you're interested in the giveaway. And as always, sunscreen and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.